Pollen is basically the reproduction system for plants and trees. What happens with allergy sufferers is their body overreacts to pollen that they see in the air, and so hence they get either sore eyes, itchy eyes, blocked noses, you know, coughing, sneezing, etc. With climate change, we are seeing more warmer weather. With that comes longer growing seasons, and with longer growing seasons, you're going to see more pollen production higher levels of pollen concentration in the air. So we have to react to this appropriately so that we can keep everything in balance and help people live a better quality of life. Aerobiology Research Laboratory has been around for over 25 years and we are specialists in identification and counting of pollen and spores across the country. We collect daily samples. With that information we create forecasts for people with allergies across Canada so that they can manage their, their allergies. This is the rotation impaction sampler. So basically how it works is rotation impaction is the idea that these rods will spin and as they spin, everything that's in the air attaches itself to the silicone grease on the rods and after 24 hours these rods are removed and they're packaged up in vials and sent to our office for analysis. Okay, so this is the lab. What happens here is that um, the pollen samples come in, to, they get couriered to us. We get different samples every day from over 30 sites across Canada. They come in in these small plastic vials and we have two plastic rods inside of them. We add some stain and we can then visualize in the microscope what all the pollen and the fungal spores look like so we can count them that way. So each key on the keyboard corresponds with a uh, different pollen or spore type, depending on what she's counting right now. And, uh, and so each time she taps, that means she sees another one on the, on the, uh, in her view. We have seen some increases, particularly in large urban areas like Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. We seem to see a little bit more of the different pollen types. We have over 25 years of data, which gives us a historical background of when pollen seasons are. We have the current data, so everything that we're collecting this year. And with the weather patterns, we can create forecasts to tell people what's in the air. And our forecasts are over 83% accurate. You can find um, the pollen levels on our app, the Allergy Sufferers app, or on the Weather Network here in Canada. Great resources for people. Over the last 25 years, uh, especially in the last 10 to 15 years, we're seeing an increase in pollen levels and concentrations across Canada. We're seeing an increase of allergy sufferers every single year, and a lot of that is attributed to climate change. But there are other variables like urban planning that could be contributing to this as well. Definitely as we see warmer weather, longer growing season, more pollen in the air. And when you know what's in the air, you can take the appropriate steps to living a better quality of life and it all starts there.